Welcome to this brief overview and demo of Syncplify Me AFT, thank you for being here. As soon as you log in you're presented with the dashboard, which is a unified place where you can keep an eye on everything AFT is doing for you in real time. Arguably the most important section of the interface is the one devoted to your automation scripts. From here you can create a new script by either writing the code or building it visually, and at the bottom of the page you can run scripts directly from text files if you have any. There is also a built-in scheduler which is compatible with the cron standard, to help you schedule your scripts so they can run unattended. The cron scheduling format is very powerful, and there are thousands of documents and tutorials on the internet to learn how to format and use the 5 cron time fields. You can use this cron scheduler to run scripts from AFT's database, or even from file. AFT also allows you to start your scripts via REST API, to do so you have to create one or more API keys. Each API key can only be used from the whitelisted IP addresses and networks. If you want to have an API key that can be used from anywhere on the internet you can use the 0.0.0.0/0 CIDR notation. A very powerful feature in AFT is its ability to manage your secrets, like passwords for example, in a very secure way so you don't have to type them in clear inside your scripts. Let's create a secret called my secret password for example, and set its contents to our local SFTP server's password. Now we can go write a little script that uses this newly created secret to connect to an SFTP server without revealing the server's password. As you can see the AFTJS language is very simple, it's basically an extended version of JavaScript. The syntax and the paradigms of the language should be immediately familiar to anyone who knows even just the basics of JavaScript. And here's how to protect your server's password by using the secret we just created a few moments ago. We'll get back to more scripting concepts later during this demo. For security but also convenience, AFT allows you to create multiple administrative profiles. And in an effort to make our users' life easier the software includes a rich and searchable script library, with many ready-made scripts to quick start the writing of your own. When you have found a script that suits you, you can preview it and import it into your own script database so that you can later on edit it and build your own logic into it. Let's go check out the script we just imported from the library. Here it is. A perfect starting point to build your own secure file transfer automation jobs. All scripts from the library are also heavily commented, to make it even easier to understand and extend them. If you are not a programmer you can still create most automation jobs visually using the Blockly interface. You can literally build your automation jobs by dragging and dropping actions and data fields. Of course writing actual scripts remains more flexible, but the visual editor is powerful enough for most common scenarios. Now let's write the simplest possible script, one that just connects to a local SFTP server and upon successful connection it disconnects without transferring any file. We do so to demonstrate that AFT is working properly with your backend SFTP server. 
at the beginning we create an SFTP client object, we then set the host value to our SFTP server running on localhost on port 22. We then write the username in clear, but for the password we use the secret we have previously created in the software. Now we write our simple logic, if connection is successful then we disconnect. Setting your client to null at the end helps preventing unnecessary memory consumption. Let's check the syntax to make sure our script is formally correct, and if everything is ok then we save the script. Now let's run the script and go back to the dashboard to see if it worked. AFT tells us that the script has been queued for execution. But we don't see it in the dashboard, why? Because the dashboard typically shows scripts that are running, while our script has probably already finished its execution. By selecting stopped in the drop down menu we can see a list of scripts that are already done running, and access their logs. From the top right corner of the interface you can also easily access the software manual, where all of the AFTJS language functions are well documented. There are hundreds of functions you can use in your scripts, in addition to the JavaScript standard library. AFT even features high-level functions to integrate with services like Twilio or Slack, and even built-in PGP encryption. If even after reading the manual you still can't figure out how to do something, the top right corner also gives you access to our knowledge base with hundreds of articles to help you. Thank you for watching, please come visit us at www.synclify.me.